Do you want to know how to edit the navigation menu in Shopify? In the next few minutes, I'm going to teach you how to add a logo to your header in Shopify and how to add a blog to the main menu in Shopify in this complete Shopify tutorial for tech challenged Shopify website owners. My name is Elise Nelson and I help tech challenge makers build a profitable e-commerce brand. Thanks for joining me on YouTube channel where I offer lessons that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. In this short video, we'll be talking about Shopify header design and how to edit the navigation menu in Shopify. But before we jump into this maker lesson, I'd love to know how often you update the menu on your website and why do you update it? Leave a comment and let me know. All right, so we are going to go ahead and jump in to the Shopify admin area. So I'll be showing you how to do this in Shopify, but these same tactics will apply to other website builders. So you can use this on your own platform if you're not on Shopify as well. So you're going to go to um, your admin area. You're going to go to online store themes, and then we're going to go to customize. And once you're here, we're going to look at our announcement bar. So our announcement bar is really a great place for us to put information about shipping. So you can see in this example here, it says free shipping in the continental US. Another thing you might put here is if you don't have free shipping, you could say $5 flat rate shipping or $10 flat rate shipping in the continental US. You can also say free shipping on orders over $50. And then if you put one of those little bars, you could put and then $5 flat rate shipping. So there's all sorts of things you can do here for shipping. This is a great place to put information about shipping because every customer is going to see it. Every shopper is going to see it and it makes sure that they understand what your shipping policy is and they know how much they're going to be charged for shipping when they check out. One of the biggest reasons for cart abandonment is because people do not take the cost of shipping and include it in their overall value of your product. So if you can get them to include the cost of shipping in the product price from the beginning, you will help decrease your cart abandonment. Other things that you could put up here in your announcement bar would be buy now, pay later on orders over a certain value amount. You could put a notice if your shop is closed. I recommend not putting that your shop is closed at all. I recommend just saying something like delayed shipping notice. All orders will ship with a date. And then they know there's a delay on shipping. That doesn't mean your shop is closed. So the terminology here can make a big difference. So anything like that that you need everyone to know is the perfect, the announcement bar or the site-wide notice is the perfect place to put that. Now, um, I typically have my site-wide notice be non-sticky so that it hides when they scroll because they're going to see that at the beginning on every page and then it's going to go away. I think that's personally better. I also don't like the idea of having rotating messages, but you could if you needed to have rotating messages as well. Here in Shopify, you go into this second drop down here. You can see my text is free shipping in the continental US. I do not personally think you should put an image up here or a button. This needs to just be a notice, but you do have those options here as well. So that is the announcement bar. Let's go ahead and talk about the actual header menu. So here in your header menu, you definitely want to make sure that you are putting your logo. So that is the very first thing that it asks you to do. So you definitely want to upload your logo here. My personal preference is for the logo to be in the center. You can also put your logo on the left hand side. It is completely up to you. You're going to put it whatever makes the most sense to you. Then you're also going to be able to set up your navigation, which is the entire point of this video is how to edit your navigation. The reason that I am starting here when it comes to navigation is because depending upon your theme, you have additional options. So you need to know that first. And this is where you're going to find that out. You can see here under navigation, I have a menu and then I have a mobile menu. If your theme has this option, which is something I highly recommend, then you're going to be able to set up your menus differently for mobile versus desktop. And that is essential to know before you set up your menus so that you can make sure that you are setting up your menus the best way for your theme. So if you have this option of a regular menu and a mobile menu, then you're going to want to take advantage of that when we actually set up your menus. If you don't, then you're only going to be making one menu. So this is important to know. And that's why I wanted to come here to show you before we actually get to the navigations themselves. Now, before we jump into the rest of this lesson, please like this video and comment with the word header to let me know you want more content like this. Also, be sure to stick with me to the end of the video to learn your challenge for today and implement what you've learned. All right, so now we are going to be going to online store navigation and we're going to start with our main menu. So you can see here I have the main menu and the mobile menu and that's because my theme allows me to have a different menu for each. 
And when you look at the menu items, the main menu only shows two, the mobile menu shows quite a few. And that is intentional so that it will look a certain way when someone is looking at my menus. So let's go ahead and jump right into the main menu. And the way the menu works is it is collapsible. So if you collapse everything down, you can see my two main menu items are shop with an emoji to grab attention and more info. And that is exactly what I recommend for your desktop version of your menu. Then underneath that, you will have the submenus. So let me go ahead and show you what this actually looks like. On desktop, you can see on my main menu here, I have shop and more info. And it's showing me these two things. And I've got my logo actually on the left with my menu in the center. So like I said, you can set this up whatever way works best for you. When you go down to a smaller size, the um, logo automatically shifts to the center. So shop and more info. And then when I hover over it, it gives me additional menu items. Now over here, you can see I have an additional sub menu under gifts that pops out even further. So that's what this actually looks like when you're looking at it. So on your main menu, you've got your shop button. I suggest having shop all, which is going to show every single product that you have in your store, best sellers, new arrivals. Those are going to appeal to your shoppers who are just browsing. Then I personally have bundles for my products where they can get multiples of my product in one thing. So I have that next. Then you're going to set up your categories. So that's going to be for me, water bottle holders and phone lanyards. Those are the types of categories, the types of products that I sell. And then if you have specific collections, you would put your collections under your categories because your customers are going to be searching by the categories over the collections. Most of the time, they're not going to know what collection they want, but they will know they want a water bottle holder or a phone lanyard, or they want a necklace or a pair of earrings. So your categories should come before your collections. Then you should add search and cart. And I do recommend having a section for gifts unless there's some reason that your particular brand is absolutely never going to be a gift. Now that is very rare, but it has happened. Most of the time having a section for gifts is positive. So I would definitely consider having that there. So that is my shop menu. So now we're going to collapse that one. And then for the more info menu, you can see for me, I have demos because people don't understand how my products work. And I have that very first because they need to be able to see the demos for my products. Then I do my blog, which is what I would recommend for you about us, contact us, testimonials, shipping policy, and refund policy. Now for the blog, how do you find the actual blog link? So if we come over here and we go to our blog, so I'm going to click on online store blog posts, then you can go to manage blogs. And you can see here's my carry clips blog. So if I click on view blog, it will actually open it up to the link itself right here. So then you can get that link and you can copy it and you can use that to put in your menu. So here we are in our menu. So if I add a menu item, you just do that here and then I can actually put the link right here. So that's one option or in Shopify, if you click in the link, you can actually go to specific pages, blogs, etc. So I can just go to blog there and select the correct blog. And there you go. And I like to select the link first because what that allows me to do is use the same name under the name it automatically fills in. So I select the link and then it'll fill in the name. And then if I need to change the name, then I can, but it'll start with what the name of wherever link I'm using. So I'm gonna hit cancel because I don't actually want to add that. So that's how you're going to get your blog link. Then testimonials, shipping policy, refund policy. I also recommend having a frequently asked questions, which you don't see here. And you also should consider putting under your more info, a get a discount or a monthly giveaway link that will take them to a page where they can sign up for whatever your opt-in is to get them on your email list. And then shipping policy, refund policy, as we said before. So that is your main menu. Now, if you want more help with your e-commerce brand, subscribe and sign up for notifications so that you don't miss any of my videos that are 15 minutes or less to help you grow your e-commerce shop. Okay, so now we are going to back out and we are going to go into the mobile menu. We're gonna talk a little bit about what the mobile menu looks like. All right, so this is what the mobile menu would look like, right? And so you can see we've got the menu button, the search, the logo, and then the shopping cart. So if I click on menu, I do not want to only see two options when I click on menu. I want to see a lot of options because otherwise you're making them click twice to get that information. And we don't wanna make them do that on mobile. So that's why we're gonna do these separate. So on mobile, you immediately get all the options that are normally under the shop all menu. 
and then you get more info for the more info menu. So we take everything that was under the shop all menu on desktop and we actually put it immediately accessible when someone clicks on menu. Now for this button here, I highly recommend not using a hamburger menu, which is the three little lines, because yes, most people now realize that means it's a menu, but a lot of people still don't. So putting menu or shop here instead of the hamburger menu is definitely an advantage and something that I would recommend doing. Then once they click on that, now we've got our shop all. Again, the same things we had on the desktop menu, shop all, bestsellers, new arrivals. Um, you wanna have your categories before your collections, your search, your cart, and then your more info is here with an expandable click. Um, and again, that has all the same information that we had on our desktop menu but it is laid out differently so that on mobile, I can see everything immediately and not have to click too many times. So that is how you wanna set up your mobile and desktop menus. Today's quick question was, how often do you update the menu on your website and why? Leave a comment and let me know. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this playlist to learn more about how to build a website for sales. Plus, be sure to download the website theme comparison checklist to determine if the platform or Shopify theme you're considering checks all the boxes. The link is in the description of this video. Your challenge for today is to look at your header menu and add additional menu items or take menu items away if there's too many things because you don't want your menu to be too long and make it easiest for your shoppers to shop your menu. Once you're done, comment below and let me know what you changed on your menu. As always, I'll be doing another giveaway for commenters this Wednesday. So be sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and that you comment on the new videos that are released every Thursday and Monday. This Wednesday, the lucky commenter will win a free ticket to the social media video challenge that starts on May 9th. And in that challenge, we will be creating short form vertical video custom for your brands and you'll get my feedback and help with those video posts for TikTok, Stories, Reels, and YouTube Shorts. Best of luck to you all in the giveaway. Don't forget to live your dream every single day, and I will see you in the next video.